So the Parallels 20.2 update has released, and it just proves why Parallels remains the best way to run Windows 11 on an Apple Silicon Mac. And since my last video about Parallels, we have some brand new features and updates, including the ability to now boot up x86 operating systems, Apple Intelligent Integration, Battleye support in the recent versions of Windows 11 ARM Canary, as well as some big improvements for IT admins and managers. And that's what we're going to be covering in this video today. And if you do decide to use Parallels, then please make sure to click the link at the top of this video description, you'll be able to get a pretty big discount with my coupon code. So please check it out. Every purchase made after clicking the link helps out my channel and supports the content that I create. So the first big exciting news is the fact that we now have x86 operating system support, which has entered its first preview. But we just have to manage our expectations. Currently, only Windows 10 64-bit is supported, and boot times are rather long due to the fact that the Apple hypervisor isn't being used, and there's no support for USB, and I couldn't get the internet connection working within the operating system either. So it's very much in its early stages, so make sure to check it out. I'm going to leave a separate link for a full tutorial on how I got this all working. It's a little bit of a convoluted process, but I'll put a link to that for my second channel. However, if you are interested in running traditional Windows applications under x86, then you might be interested in running the normal Windows 11 ARM operating system under Parallels, and you can make use of the Prism translation layer, which actually works surprisingly well. The majority of the Windows applications that I've used work fantastically through Parallels through Windows 11 ARM, and it's actually so good that you could actually play high-end Windows games up to DirectX 11, which brings me to my next point. It's actually possible to run many anti-cheat games on the Apple Silicon Mac using the latest version of Windows 11 ARM Canary, which isn't possible with any other method on the Apple Silicon Mac. So this includes games like GTA Online, Escape from Tarkov, DayZ. Now again, you have to manage your expectations. These are not going to be running at full speed. And even a high-end Macs, these aren't going to run that well, but it's going to be a start. And really, it's the only way to run many of these titles on the Apple Silicon Mac right now. Hopefully, this is going to improve in the future. And Parallels is also easily the best way to run many Windows 32-bit games on a Mac. For example, this is Grand Theft Auto 4, running far better than it possibly could using something like Crossover, partially because virtualizing 32-bit games is way better than trying to run them through a Wine translation layer on a Mac. Other improved titles include the Windows version of Fallout New Vegas, and even newer games too. This is the Spell Brigade, which is a Windows-only game running great through Parallels. And also a game like Minecraft Bedrock can only be run through the Windows Store and is best run through a virtual machine through Parallels. And it's one of the only ways that Mac gamers can play Minecraft Bedrock with all the other Minecraft players in the world, especially those who are playing on console and smartphone. And another new feature is the fact that we now have Apple Intelligence support. So if we go to System Settings, make sure we have Apple Intelligence set up and we can make use of the Apple Writing Tools. Just make sure to also set up the Parallels Toolbox. You can do this by clicking on the Parallels icon and going to Control Center, and then we have that focus. You can click on the top left menu bar and then click Install Parallels Toolbox for Mac and then Install Now. So once you have the toolbox installed, what you can do is to select some text and then click Edit and then click Writing Tools, and that's going to open up this window here. Or you can easily do this by selecting everything and pressing Command, Shift, and W, and that's going to give the writing tool on the left here. We can go ahead and ask it to summarize the key points, which is going to do with Apple Intelligence. We've got this little summary here, which we can copy and paste somewhere else. Or let's say we copy this into a Word document. Ironically, it's asking us to draft this with Microsoft Copilot, but we want to use the superior Apple Intelligence. So now what we can do is select any text here. We're going to press Command Shift W to get the writing tools up. And I'm going to ask this to rewrite as rhyming couplets. OK, so it's going to rewrite this as a poem. Basically, we can now press the Replace button. It's going to reintegrate that into our Word document. In Cupertino, Apple's news did unfold. The Mac Studio powerful now to behold. With M4 Max and M3's Ultra's might, it tackles workloads day and night. So yeah, beautiful Apple intelligence and also chat GPT integration straight into the Windows 11 ARM virtual machine. And there's also a whole bunch of new features for IT admins, including hybrid licensing and single sign-on support. So anyway, there you have it. Parallels 20.2 update definitely makes this the most performant and also the only Microsoft officially sanctioned way of running Windows on a Mac. So anyway, it looks like the situation with running Windows games and applications on a Mac is improving day by day. So let me know in the comments what you thought about this Parallels update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.